Brassica nigra. The nickname for this plant is mustard packs. It shares the same nickname as the plant I covered last week, Brassica juncia, because they are virtually identical in appearance and are used identically for edible and medicinal purposes. This is part one, and in part two I'll be sharing a mnemonic to help you commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristics of this plant. Be sure to watch all of part one so that part two is understandable. It is an erect plant between two and six feet tall yellow flowers which form in clusters on top of the main stem and branching stems. You'll notice in this picture how the seed pods are closely pressed against the stem in contrast to Brassica juncia covered last week where the seed pods are more loosely formatted around the stem. That is just one of the only ways the two plants can be distinguished. In a survival situation that is a non-factor because again they are used identically for medicinal and edible purposes. The base or bottom leaves are broad. They are deeply dissected as the seeds <clears throat> or as the leaves ascend up the stem they become smaller, more narrow, lance shaped. They also do not have prominent teeth or lobes around the margins or edges of the leaves. Notice in this picture the flower clusters which are born atop the main stem and branching stems. The leaves are alternating. They are not opposite of one another. And they emit a mustard odor when crushed. The leaf on the right, illustration B, represents a base or bottom leaf. As you see it is broad through the width. It is deeply dissected. It bears irregular teeth around the margins or edges. Sometimes you will find that they bear irregular lobes or scallops which basically means that the protrusions are not pointed or sharp as these teeth are. Lobes or scallops are more rounded. Illustration C shows us the flower bearing four petals in the shape of a cross. Illustration D is an enlarged picture of the stamen 
which are set in the middle of each flower. There are six stamen total. Four are tall and two are short. There are over 3,200 mustard species worldwide, all of which are edible. Some are more tasty or more palatable than others, but again, all are edible. If you come across a plant which has flowers with four petals and the shape of a cross with six stamen, four tall, two short, you do in fact have one of the 3,200 species worldwide which are of the mustard family. Without a hand lens or magnifying glass, it may be difficult to count the stamen, much less determine which two are short, or if you have four that are tall and two that are short. Therefore, it might be necessary for you to remember two additional distinguishing characteristics which are shared by all 3,200 mustard species. And they are one. The seed pods resemble a spiral staircase ascending the stem. I'll be showing you a better illustration of that in a later slide. And two, when any of these, when any of the leaves are crushed, they emit a mustard odor. Illustration E shows us again how the seed pods are closely pressed against the stem. Illustration G shows us how the seed pods split right down the middle naturally in order to release the seed for reproduction. In the middle you will find a translucent layer which reveals the seeds and there are approximately 10 to 12 seeds per seed pod. This picture shows us again flowers in the shape of a cross. Stamen, six total. Four which are tall and two which are short. This is a picture of a bottom leaf or base leaf, also deeply dissected. Remember, irregular teeth. We see a few lobes or scallops on this leaf here. Remember, if it's crushed, it will emit a mustard odor. Base leaves bear longer leaf stalks than upper leaves. Upper leaves bear leaf stalks which are short if they have a leaf stalk at all. The leaf on the right represents one of the upper leaves 
as you see it is smaller more narrow lance shaped the leaf on the left is broad and it's actually deeply dissected if you notice these two lobes here seed pods are approximately one inch long and they each bear a prominent beak at the tip they are technically described as being somewhat four-sided we can see this here on this seed pod where you will notice two sides which are somewhat flat one of the other distinctions between Brassica nigra which we were looking at and Brassica juncia which was covered last week is that the nigra does not so readily show the outline or the form of the seeds through the pod layer you notice the pods are somewhat smooth whereas brassica juncia seed pods are lumpy exposing or revealing the shape of the seeds inside seed pods closely pressed against the stem earlier I was telling you how the seed pods of all mustard species ascend the stem in a form which resembles a spiral staircase this is not a brassica juncia but it does show you an example of the spiral staircase resemblance the seed pods are not opposite of one another they alternate around the stem approximately every one-third of the way around the stem the seeds are reddish brown to black the surface of the seeds have a net like or honeycomb surface or texture the edible parts of this plant are the leaves flower buds flowers stems and seed pods to learn how to prepare these parts visit survivalplantsmemorycourse.com find Brassica nigra through the index of plants link on the fact sheet look for methods of preparation thank you for watching part one be sure to watch part two where I will be sharing a mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the most identifying characteristics of this plant